Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's video. And I think if you're watching this video, you're saying to yourself, you know what, I've been thinking about some of these cars. Let me see if there's anybody out there who knows anything about these who could help me make a decision. I'm not that person, I know zero. However, I Googled everything, and I'm just gonna repeat what the Google machine told me. Actually, that's not true. We've had uh, quite a few of these cars come through here. We have been in this space here uh, for uh, 23 years. It just so happens that this vehicle here is 21 years old. This is 2024 that we're doing. This is a 2003 with only 30 something thousand miles on it. I love these cars. Why do I love these cars? Because these cars here are such a great buy for the incredible amount of car that you get for that. You don't realize the effort that goes into building this car and all the safety stuff, all the performance things, all of the stuff that goes in there to make it their top of the line car. I want to spend a few minutes with you, walk around, show you that stuff, and you'll see for yourself, not only is it a modern car, it's still got a classic look to it that doesn't look like anything else as well. All right, let's get started. All right, so listen, you're getting a Mercedes. Today's the day you're getting a Mercedes, right? What do you get for the Mercedes? Why is a Mercedes a Mercedes? Why, isn't, why are all the other cars just like Mercedes? Hmm, good question, right? Let's talk about that. It's things like this. Like that's a real door, this is a convertible. Convertibles never really sound super tight, but because this car was designed as a convertible, not a coupe with the top cut off of it, it already starts out a great car. Great color. This is a sport package on this car as well, so you're getting the wheels and tires, you're getting the sport features that go around here, the mesh, what have you, and a great color combination. This is factory paint. All original paint right still here on the car. Okay, check that out. Nice and crisp and clean. You can probably see that better with the lights there. There we go. All right, and I like to do that. And there's some great touches you can do along the way. Some people like to do a blackout treatment for emblems or grills and things like that. They sell some aftermarket stuff to make it a little different if you want to, or you can leave it just the way it is, right? Uh, some things we could do for you is paint the calipers red. If you wanted to, we could paint them black and put Mercedes uh, Benz uh, emblems on there. These are the little touches that make cars uh, great looking. A lot of people don't know that they can even do that. Uh, so I like to share that with them, all right? So, uh, while we talk about convertibles, this is a two-look car. You say, Tom, what's that mean? Only two people are ever going to look at me in the car? And I'm going to say, no, that's not what I meant by that. Two-look car means that this is a convertible and it's a hard top. You say, Tom, how can you possibly have a hard top? Well, because this is a folding hard top that sits inside of here, you get a completely different look. It's made of aluminum. It seals the car nice and tight. The car's quiet and solid as a rock. I've driven this car home. It is really, really nice. It's had a recent uh, service with new tires brakes and stereo upgrade so it is serviced and ready to go and uh, let's check it under the hood because there is a lot of power there. All right so let's take a peek under here and you know what you may never look at this but this is actually a show car you say Tom what does that mean show car I just want to get a cool convertible you could take this to a show with how clean it is low mileage right and there's some important pieces here that tell you some cars are separated from others and here's what I look for when I'm buying a car you ready so I'm looking at original stickers that are in place here why do I say that? The original stickers are back there for the color and the VIN and what have you. Well, I say that because those stickers are not available for purchase, right? If this car is in an accident and they have to replace these parts, you're not going to get those stickers anymore. All of these original stickers are still in their place. Original hood liner is still here. Original stickers are here too. That is a really good sign. Original hood, original fenders, original front end, and that big V8, man. It says it's 302 horsepower. I'm telling you, it feels way more than that, uh, especially with uh, uh, clicking it with the shifter and everything. It is, uh, this car rolls on down the road. All right, so this is a very functional car. Why do I say that? Well, because the hard top is down and folded inside here, so you have all the storage behind the seats for uh, luggage, right? And then they also uh, give a lot of thought to this. Like, check this out for a second. I want you to see this. So in here, okay, you say, well, Tom, how am I going to possibly put stuff there? Well, they have the magic button here. A boom. How are you doing? Which allows you to put all your stuff back in there, groceries, whatever you want, without having to put the top up. And you just put this back down in its place. Push the button again. Boom. There you go. All sealed, locked, and loaded. Close that. And this has a backup camera that's integrated into the new digital sound system that's it there. Dual exhaust, great sound, satellite, Bluetooth. And as you're looking through this car, it looks very nice back there. All right, so why do people buy these cars? I'll share with you why the people buy these cars. Because if you have a bad back or uh, certain things with your body, these seats 
are truly some of the most incredible seats ever. For instance, they have built-in massaging, okay? And when you go around a corner, you can set it so that these bladders right here puff up when they go and hold you in your seat. It's the most incredible feeling you've ever seen. You've never been in a car like that. As soon as you turn the wheel, this blows up on this side or you go this way, this one does whatever, and it's really very nice. Is it a sports car and a grand touring car? What are the differences? Well, a grand touring car is a nice ride. It's tons of power, but a luxurious ride. A sports car is firm, right? But not a great ride, but you're going around some corners in the mountains or whatever, boom. Here's the best of both worlds. This is the ABC system right here uh, that gives you full suspension. It's an air suspension on the car. You can decide how firm you want it right here, okay? Uh, you can shift the car if you want to uh, manually. And then you can also operate everything from the steering wheel here. You got climate control for both sides, seats for both sides, heated and cooled seats, right? This is a 2003 with all of these great features. You got storage in here to throw your phone or what you want in there. More storage in here, iPod cable, okay. Then you got storage back there. This is the upgraded uh, stereo system that we talked about and all of this great room. All right, so we're gonna close up this video here. We're talking almost a $100,000 MSRP in 2003, which is pretty incredible. This has a sport package on it, right? All kinds of incredible interior features like the upgraded seats. Uh, has a host of options. This isn't a base car. This is a, this is a grand touring car with an enormous amount of options, but it's garage kept, it's loved, it's low mileage. It still looks great, it performs well, it handles well, it does all the things that you're gonna to wanna to do in the car, and it's not ridiculously priced. It is a great buy. I get so excited about it. If you've never driven one, they are awesome. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, Mercedes AMG Sport Convertible. Uh, and if you don't mind, share this with uh, your friends out there. It helps get the message out. Subscribe to the channel. We got new stuff coming out all the time, and I'll see you on the test drive. You know, there's different kinds of, this is what we call kind of a sports car, grand touring car. Let me tell you what that means. Like, you can adjust the suspension. I'm going to firm it up into sport mode, and we can hit these corners if we want to. Or we can relax. I'll put on the, you know what? You're absolutely right. Let me put on the cooled seats for a minute. Put on a little music, and just go for a drive. Like, you guys hear, and just say, I know you can't feel it, but it's got to have some sort of smell of vision and uh, seat division that just says how comfortable this car is. Grand Touring means you can drive in this car for hours. You can go to a winery, you can go to some back roads, you can go away for the weekend. It's exactly the kind of car you're looking for with all kinds of great modern accoutrements too, but some great styling. The V8 coming out the back, right? They sell this version in a six cylinder, but right now we got, uh, we got a V8 piping out the exhaust. Drive. This is kind of how I envision you buying this car and enjoying it on these back roads, windy. What a day with the top down, top up. Two totally different cars with the top up. Now you get that sport coupe, quiet, jump on the phone or just relax. In the wintertime, it's a great car to drive because you have heated seats, right? You get great heat here. Um, anyway, this is just really, really, really nice. Did you hear how rattle-free this car is? This is why this car is so expensive when they're new, and this is the way to buy them, right? 22,000 miles on a 2003. We're doing this video in 2024. It's 21 years. It's like 1,000 miles a year this car is driven. Is that insane? For a great price on a car, too. You could drive all day here.